Over the past century, our understanding of the cosmos has evolved dramatically, thanks to advances in astronomy, physics and technology. One of the most widely accepted models explaining the origin and evolution of the universe is the Big Bang theory. According to this model, the universe began as an extremely hot, dense point roughly 13.8 billion years ago and has been expanding ever since. While this theory has been supported by a variety of observations, including the discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, and the redshift of galaxies, it is now facing significant challenges due to groundbreaking data captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. These new findings are reshaping long-held beliefs and raising fresh questions about how the universe truly works. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in late 2021, was designed to observe the universe in infrared wavelengths with unprecedented clarity and depth. It has already exceeded expectations, revealing distant galaxies, star-forming regions, and ancient cosmic structures never seen before. In its most recent observations, JWST captured images that have prompted cosmologists and astrophysicists to revisit some of their foundational assumptions. These images offer a deeper look into the early universe, reaching back to a time just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. What they reveal does not entirely match what current cosmological models predict. At the heart of the ongoing, debate is the measurement of the universe's expansion rate, commonly referred to as the Hubble constant. The Hubble constant, H0, quantifies how fast the universe is stretching outward and is crucial for determining its size, age and fate. However, scientists have struggled for years with a discrepancy in how this constant is measured. Two main techniques are used, local measurements, which involve observing nearby supernovae, stars and galaxies, and global measurements, which rely on analyzing the early universe's radiation, specifically the CMB. Surprisingly, these two methods yield different results. Local measurements suggest a faster rate of expansion than the early universe data indicates. This inconsistency is known as the Hubble tension. Local measurements often depend on celestial objects known as standard candles, such as Cepheid variable stars and type Ia supernovae. These objects have known intrinsic brightness, allowing astronomers to determine their distance from Earth by comparing their actual brightness with how bright they appear. From these distances, the rate of expansion can be inferred. On the other hand, global measurements use the CMB, a faint glow left over from the early universe, first discovered in 1965. By analyzing subtle temperature variations in the CMB, scientists can infer properties about the early universe, including its expansion rate at that time. However, the numbers from each method do not agree, leading researchers to question whether the standard cosmological model, known as LCDM, Lambda Cold Dark Matter, is missing something fundamental. The JWST was expected to help resolve this discrepancy by providing higher resolution observations and more precise distance measurements. But rather than clarifying the issue, the telescope's findings have added new complexity. Its data continues to support the faster expansion rate seen in local measurements, which only deepens the mystery. As Dr. Adam Rees, Nobel laureate and lead investigator of the SHUES, Supernovae H0 for the Equation of State project, noted in a recent interview, if both measurements are accurate, then there must be a serious gap in our understanding of cosmology. This has led scientists to consider a range of possibilities. Could there be new physics at play in the early universe that we have not yet identified? Perhaps unknown particles, changes in dark energy over time, or entirely new forces are influencing the universe's behavior. One particularly intriguing idea is that dark energy, the force believed to be driving the universe's accelerated expansion, may not be a constant value as previously thought, but rather something that evolves with time or interacts with matter in unexpected ways. Similarly, the role of dark matter, which is thought to make up roughly 27% of the universe and exerts gravitational effects without emitting light, may need to be reconsidered. Another angle scientists are exploring is how the universe's large-scale structure evolved. Matter is not distributed uniformly in space, 
Some areas are densely packed with galaxy clusters, while others are nearly empty. This uneven distribution can be studied through gravitational lensing, where massive objects like galaxy clusters bend light from more distant galaxies, allowing astronomers to map the presence of both visible and invisible dark matter. However, when comparing this large-scale structure to the smoother distribution seen in the early universe through the CMB, inconsistencies arise. This suggests that the early universe was more uniform than what we see today, another clue that something might be missing from our models. To make matters more complex, these discrepancies are not due to errors in the instruments. Both the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope have returned similar results, ruling out measurement errors as the main cause. This makes the tension between the local and early universe measurements all the more compelling and frustrating. Somewhere in the vastness of space or the subtleties of particle physics lies an answer, but it continues to elude us for now. All of this points to an exciting time in the field of cosmology. With every new discovery, scientists are forced to reevaluate what they thought they knew. This process of refinement is at the heart of scientific progress. Decades ago, the discovery of the CMB provided definitive support for the Big Bang Theory. In the late 1990s, researchers were shocked to learn that the universe's expansion was accelerating, a finding that led to the introduction of dark energy into cosmological theory. Now, with the JWST pushing the boundaries of observational astronomy, we may be on the brink of another scientific revolution, one that could fundamentally alter our conception of space, time, and the origins of everything. The situation also highlights the importance of continuous exploration. Science thrives. On questioning assumptions and adapting to new data, while the unresolved Hubble tension presents a complex puzzle, it also provides a unique opportunity to uncover deeper truths about the cosmos. Scientists across the globe are developing new theoretical models, designing advanced experiments, and collaborating across disciplines to tackle this challenge. With each step, we move closer to unlocking the secrets of dark matter, dark energy, and the true nature of the universe. Ultimately, the quest to understand the cosmos is as much about the journey as it is about the destination. Every question answered leads to new questions, and every mystery such as the one we currently face pushes the boundaries of human knowledge. Whether the solution lies in a previously undiscovered particle, a revised model of cosmic expansion, or an entirely new framework of physics, one thing is certain. Our understanding of the universe is far from complete. The cosmos still holds many secrets, and we have only just begun to unravel them.